Looking forward to this next guest, Nick Cannon. Um, the newest member of the Baltimore Ravens, uh. wide receiver extraordinaire, the one and only Odell Beckham Jr. What's going on, big time? How you doing, man? What's up, brother? How you? I'm good. Everything's smooth. Man, I, look, first of all, how happy are you to be in Baltimore? And number two, how ready are you physically? Uh, first off, it, it's, it's great when you have somebody who believes in you. Um, and who wants you to be there and kind of that old quote, like, go where you celebrate it and not tolerate it. That's definitely a good feeling. Um, and two, you know, I'm probably about as ready to play as, as everybody else in the league <laughs> at this time in the off season. Um, you know, we, we play in September, so we, we prime our bodies and get ready uh, according to that schedule. But I can't lie to you, bro. I watched everybody have fun last year, and I'm just looking forward to getting back out there. 76 is by the way, I was I was wrong. It wasn't start of the second quarter. It's 835 left. They up 42-35 on the Brooklyn Nets. Getting back to you, OBJ. You know, when people look at you and they're looking at that skill set, they're saying, can he be the Odell Beckham Jr. we're accustomed to seeing because of those injuries? To that, what do you have to say to these folks? Uh listen, I tweeted it the other day. I just said we're gonna see. Mm -hmm. That's all I that's all I gotta say. I, I'm done. You know, talking and being like, this is my year. And this is, man, listen, I'm just ready to get back on the field and right. um, have an opportunity to shine. I got news for you. You're going to be very happy with what I'm about to say. Most people want to ask you about Lamar Jackson. I'm not asking you a damn question about him. I don't want to talk about him. I want him to get his bag. We'll deal with that later. I know that you are a basketball fan, so I had to have you on to talk about some basketball. I want to know... Well, Who's your favorite right now? Because I see you at games all the time. Who are you looking at in the NBA right now that you're thinking is going to make some noise, the most noise, this postseason? So, listen, uh, until, until he's done, LeBron is always going to be my guy. I grew up on Bron. He's inspired me. He's taught me many things. Uh, you know, big brother. Um, but, you know, I live here in Phoenix, Arizona, and my favorite player has become my brother, Devin Booker. And, um, oh. you know, adding KD to the Suns, I'm excited about that. You know, that's my team. I'm, I'm watching them closely. I'll be, you know, hopefully catch some of the games if I can. Um, but it's crazy how I became a Suns fan. So, hold on, whoa, 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 stop the presses here because we're going to put up the brackets right here. We got Phoenix, uh, all right, getting ready to go against the Clippers. Uh, we got LeBron yeah. and going up against John Moran. I know you got love for John Moran. I mean, what are you trying to say, OBJ? You trying to tell me you, you, you can't decide between LeBron and the Suns? Hey, buddy, what are you telling me? Um, <laughs> that's the truth. Listen. I, I don't know. I love John Moran. You know, we, we kicked it before. Great dude. Um, but this LeBron in the playoffs, I think the Lakers is a scary team. Uh, it, it, it's going to be a team you got to watch out for. So I don't know if they beat the Grizzlies, but I can see it happen. Um, and I, and I got to see the Suns go all the way. You know what I mean? That's it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.